in terms of crossing the Drake Passage, um, I get it every year with guests. You know, I do talks around the country and guests are always like, oh, we'd love to go to Antarctica, but we're really nervous about the Drake Passage and they've only heard bad stories about the Drake Passage. The misconception about the Drake Passage is that people think it's rough 365 days a year, and that's not entirely true. The Drake Passage gets its reputation because when it is rough, it can be very rough. Um, low pressure systems that kind of move in a clockwise direction, when they come between the South American continent, the Antarctic continent, they are squeezed and those systems are intensified. So yes, a bad day in the Drake can be worse than other parts of the world because those low pressure systems are intensified. But saying that, and from my last 12 years of experience, you know, seven to eight times cross, out of 10 times crossing the Drake Passage, it's not that bad. It's four, five meter swells. Um, you know, going down on the Seaborne Quest, this is a state-of-the-art ship. It has a state-of-the-art hull design, stabilizers, and we can still maintain 17 knots in five, six meter swells and maintain a very comfortable ride for the guests on board. I, I joked last year, we, we crossed the Drake Passage on this ship doing 17 knots in eight meter swells and we were still drinking wine out of tall stem glasses. It didn't even affect that. It, it's, it, the ship does an incredible job. And, you know, I always say to people, even if you are prone to getting seasick, the second you see Antarctica, that'll be the last thing you ever think about. You know, come on board, if you do get seasick, take a seasick tablet and you know, lie down. All the lectures are screened to the rooms, they're all recorded, you can watch the lectures at your own will, you won't miss out on any of that aspect because our days at sea in the Drake is where we do do a lot of lectures and we want to obviously educate the guests on what they've seen down in Antarctica. So they have the opportunity to view that all from the interactive TV in their suite so they won't actually miss out on anything. They can still then get to Antarctica because once you're down in Antarctica, even if the wind blows 100 knots, you, you're not going to have swell on chop. We're always in calm, sheltered bays, you're in the Gurlash, you're in little harbours. It's always very protected down in Antarctica.